Hey guys, your boy Ants Canada here. It's a wonderful January Saturday afternoon. Um, ants are asleep and well, I uh, took a peek at one of the test tubes and the test tube water portion had dried out. So, um, and there's the queen right there. And a little bit of mold has started to grow. So, um, I wanted to create a video of um, how to properly do a test tube setup. Um, for those of you who do do the test tube setups, um, well, essentially you need a new test tube. You need cotton, a pokey of some sort, and I use this trusty barbecue skewer. <laughs> Of course you need, well, a queen ant, unless you want to practice without a queen ant, who knows, whatever. But this is what you do. So, you take your test tube and you fill it about up to here with the water. Just about a little under halfway with the water. Oh, and also if you want to make sure to wash your hands before doing this because you don't want mold to grow on the cotton um, or any kind of fungus so it's good to make sure you work with clean hands so this is too much water I'm gonna pour it out I'm gonna wash the test tube actually this is brand new and we sell these test tubes at the Ants Canada store so you take your cotton ball, like so, nice cotton ball, um, this one I think it's two cotton balls, and then you uh, essentially just stuff it in there, like that, see, um, and you want to make sure that the test tube is upright. You know, you want to make sure that it's completely vertical, not tilting to the side or anything like that because then you'll get air bubbles and you don't want that. It's not the, the best. Um, so you take your pokey and you just slide it down. Allow the tip of the cotton ball to kind of soak up. See, it'll start to soak up the water. Um, and keep pushing until you start to see moisture. Just a little bit of moisture on the surface of the cotton. You don't want to push it too much because then you're going to get... It, then it's going to just fill up with water. Now, in this case, there was a little bit of air. It's fine. And what I often do is I turn it upside down, do the test to make sure the water doesn't come out. Um, and get rid of any excess water because you don't want your queen drowning. So now she's ready to enter her new test tube, which has a new supply of water. So I'm going to open this test tube here. She's a Formica Fusca Queen. I caught. And be gentle here. Come on, babe. Let's go. Interior new oh there we go. So now she's in there. I'm gonna use my finger to plug a hole. Then we essentially take another cotton ball and we plug the entrance like so. And voila! She's now in her new test tube. Clean with a perfect supply of water. And I'm now going to put her back so she can enjoy the rest of her hibernation. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe to Ants Canada for more ant keeping videos. Um, and be sure to visit our new store at antscanada.com for anything. You'll see the queen will start cleaning herself. Um, she'll run her legs and antennae and abdomen through her mouth parts to clean herself. There she goes. That's a good sign. It shows that uh, you know she's settling into a new place, and uh, the ants, uh, the queen ants, tend to clean themselves when 
they've set up shop in a new place. Um, and I also wanted to take note of the cotton ball that's blocking the exit of the test tube. Um, if you want, you can use the same cotton ball that uh, plugged the old test tube. Um, and that way, any pheromones or any sort of thing that she might have, you know, applied onto the cotton ball um, are carried on into her new test tube. So she kind of feels at home, you know, it's not a completely new surrounding, but that's totally up to you. I like to use the cotton balls that have become familiar to the Queen Anne's. So there she is. Get your lollipop, ride it baby sweet on top Get your lollipop